Hello, my name is Heather Wilson Robles. I'm a veterinary medical oncologist at Texas A&M and also the chief medical officer at Volition Veterinary. I'm delighted to announce that Volition Veterinary has featured its new Q assay in two posters uh, that are being presented at the Veterinary Cancer Society virtual meeting in November of this year, 2021. The Veterinary Cancer Society meeting is the largest meeting of veterinary oncologists in the world. Approximately 500 veterinary oncologists, uh, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, as well as surgical oncologists, technicians, interns, residents, and students will attend this meeting. It's a wonderful place for us to present new data in all things related to veterinary oncology. New Q Capture is a unique enrichment tool that allows us to isolate cancer-specific nucleosomes and separate them from normal circulating nucleosomes. Once isolated, we can then evaluate them for a variety of genetic differences. For the first time, we're reporting the isolation of cancer-specific nucleosomes in dogs with lymphoma. And in Kira's poster, she describes the different genomic patterns that we are starting to see in these dogs compared to their normal nucleosomes. This is a really exciting first project utilizing new Q capture. We're really looking forward to optimizing this protocol and allowing it to help us better understand cancer circulating nucleosomes in dogs with all types of cancer. The second poster presented at VCS reports the use of the new Q H3.1 assay as a monitoring tool for dogs with lymphoma, as well as a variety of other diseases. In this study, we present data on 21 dogs, about half of which have lymphoma, but the other half have a variety of different cancers, including hemangiosarcoma, primary lung tumor, as well as osteosarcoma. In these dogs, the majority of them were able to get nucleosome concentrations within the healthy range once starting treatment. Interestingly, H3.1 concentrations actually lag behind our physical exam findings, demonstrating that H3.1 may truly be a surrogate for minimal residual disease and more sensitive than our physical exam findings regarding remission. Even more importantly, H3.1 concentrations actually start to rise weeks to sometimes even a month or two before we actually detect disease recurrence. What this means is that H3.1 may be a useful tool for determining when a dog is coming out of remission. This exciting preliminary data is a small part of a much larger study where we've enrolled over 100 dogs. We're hoping to have this data matured in early 2022 and can't wait to publish it and get it out there. We are very excited to present this new data at such a prestigious meeting. We've made a lot of progress in 2021 and can't wait to see what 2022 will bring. If you want more information, please visit our website. There you will see our posters, the presentations, as well as all of our published papers. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing you soon.